All right. Well, you may have heard people talking about Asperger's syndrome lately, but very few people really know what it means. Joining me now is someone who certainly does. Helen Elder is the mother of a Chesapeake Bay Academy student with an Asperger's diagnosis, and she's here to share her experiences using CBA as a diagnostic assessment resource. We were talking a little bit before we got started that I think people know that it's a school but may not realize that it's a resource if you've got questions about, you know, that your spider senses start tingling, right. as yours probably did with your child, to find out what's going on. Right. Thanks for joining us. Sure. Um, let's see, I actually sought a diagnosis for my son when he was starting a full day of school in first grade. Yeah. And he was um, just not connecting with his peers. He would walk around the fringes of the playground. He was melting down during transitions and mm -hmm. spent a couple years through the public schools trying to deal with that and pulled him out, homeschooled him a couple years. Yeah. Was still seeing some deficits and went to Chesapeake Bay Academy to the Dominion Educational Services for mm -hmm. diagnosis and mm -hmm. um, mainly on what those learning differences were. And yeah. it really helped me to come up with some better strategies for mm -hmm. um, helping him to overcome those weaknesses. Mm -hmm. um, what is the biggest difference that, or, or the biggest thing that I, I was going to ask the difference between Asperger's and autism. Right. Or the biggest thing that you would help, that you would say helps people identify, okay, this is a child with, with Asperger's. Right, that's a good question. Um, actually, that's probably the one that um, at a clinical level, because I'm just a parent, yeah. um, would separate the two. Um, because with Asperger's, you have them perseverating on topics. So they're often highly verbal. Yeah. And so they seem like this little professor. This, right. They can talk incessantly with a very high vocabulary, correct people, even teachers. And so they can come off because they have sort of a monotone voice and they're very pedantic in their speech, mm -hmm. very um, authoritative and almost rude. And so... Um, they might get corrected a lot by the teachers for being for being disrespectful, which isn't their intention. They just want sure. to get it right. So um, the biggest one to get the Asperger's diagnosis is that perseverative mm -hmm. talk and an obsession, Pokemon or dinosaurs uh, mythology, or, dinosaurs, yeah. and they know you know all the dinosaurs and their names and full full names, not just you know Tyrannosaurus yeah. and yeah. It's, um, and they will correct anyone. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned they have sometimes those sensory, those social right. you know, shortcomings, which makes it all the more important for these children to be around people who understand them. Right, what because do you think? they don't recognize those cues. Yeah. And so they need to have someone interpret social cues for them. And since 90% of our communication is nonverbal, Mm -hmm. um, and they relate to a verbal world. Yeah. They need someone who can interpret their behaviors into language for them and help them to interpret what they see in other people into language for mm -hmm. them to mm -hmm. help them. I call it verbal roping. And if you verbal rope the steps for my son, he does much better. Mm -hmm. And so that helps him to transition. Yeah. Um, the good news is that with the right resources, you know, these kids can do very well. Right. And I'm sure when you look at what was going on a couple of years ago, you know, there yeah. seems to be a, a piece about you right. that oh, definitely. He's, on, he's on the right track. Yeah. They have come up with strategies at school where um, I really thought I was going to have to be in there every day helping them, and I haven't yeah. done that. Yeah. Good strategies, coping strategies, yeah. and small classroom. Mm -hmm. um, the children there are guaranteed um, in the, at the lower school, um, yeah. a one to six, one to five ratio. So okay. you've got um, allows for those individual needs. Right, to and be that met. helps a lot. Smaller classroom sizes. All right, Helen Elder, thank you so much. We sure, didn't get to sure. talk about all the things that we certainly <laughs> could talk about when it comes to Asperger syndrome, and also remembering that Chesapeake Bay Academy is a resource for diagnosis and evaluation, evaluation especially, as well as a school. Their next CBA Cafe event is on a topic that we talked about in recent months as well, the journey into dyslexia. If you'd like more information about that, it's November 15th. You can uh, email cbacafe at cba-va.org or, or call 497-62. If you have questions or concerns about your child, whether you suspect they may have Asperger's, autism, ADHD, uh, they are experts in these things, visit their School of Thought blog or call them or visit them online, uh, cba-va.org or call 497-6200. Helen Elder, thanks so much for coming on oh, and telling you. your story. And we're glad to hear things are going well for you and your child. Thanks.